The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, starting shortstop, Leah Sum. Leah, we wrap up position previews today with the infield and uh, a group that loses its starting first baseman, Taylor Scott. She graduates and moves on to uh, PT school, but a largely veteran group. Uh, you and Keeley Quillen uh, started every game in the middle last year, and then Shannon Smith emerged as a potent uh, force at third base uh, as a freshman. What sticks out to you about uh, this group and who comes back? Well, what sticks out the best is the fact that we've all played together for just like 18 games. I know it seems so short, but we have this connection that is unreal in the infield. For example, Keely is she's the one that calms everybody down. I don't know what it is about her. She's just like the mother out there. You can just look at her and instantly she just calms everything down and the situation makes it so much better. Shannon, on the other hand, Shannon is just a wild child out there. She gets the job done and it's like phenomenal. Like it's so effortless and whatever gets hit to her side, regardless if I back it up or not, I know she's gonna have it. Now, the loss of Taylor was really sad because we've played together for so long, just the past three years that she was there with us. Um, her height was amazing, especially for me, considering that sometimes I sling it over her head, which helped a lot. And her bat was great just to help us every now and then. And But the good thing is, is that we picked up Katie Eeks. The great thing about Katie is that her scoops are phenomenal. She might not have the height, but through the practices we've had, it's much easier to throw the ball low than it is high. You folk, you bring up Katie Eeks, uh, transfers in from North Alabama uh, as a graduate student. What uh, sense do you get from her, uh, at least from an experience level, that she brings to the table to add some immediate uh, impact? Well, I'll talk about her bat for about two seconds. It's phenomenal. It's the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. She doesn't have to swing all the way through, and it's obviously over the fence. But it's not really her bat or her fielding that brings the team together. It's who she is as a human out there. She brings the energy that I've never seen. It's fun playing with her. She makes everyone laugh, and it just brings the game together so much easier. You bring that up. Obviously, this year is uh, different from any other. How have you guys worked to grow as a group uh, in spite of the circumstances of what this world is going through? Well, we learned the ones that did go through, even the high schoolers, they lost their season, we lost ours also. And I've just learned and the whole group's learned that we can't take this for granted. That yes, we understand that it's softball and our grades are important and our education is a great thing to have, but at the end of the day, we can't take anything that we do out there for granted. So it's made us closer together because the game goes by so fast as a whole. And it's brought us together because we all, in our hearts, we do love this game. And we understand that it can get taken away in the blink of an eye. How nice is it to have that life skill and appreciation at 21, 22 years old? It's amazing. Because that seems like something that would take a, a while to develop. It does, and it takes a while to develop, but you realize once it's taken away from you that fast, you realize how much you appreciate the game and your friends out there. You look at this team, and certainly the starters, you know what you can bring to the table outside of Katie. Uh, Mary Vandergriff, a uh, capable backup, got some starting experience last year. Uh, what do you see out of her as she enters her second season at Carson Newman? The great thing about Mary is that she can literally play any position in the infield. If you need her to play first base, she can easily play first base, third, short, second. It doesn't matter where you put her, even outfield. And she brings a, a great glove anywhere she plays. And not only that, she can hit phenomenally. The games that she got into last year, there wasn't a time that she did not get a hit or even a double out there. So she brings a great piece to anyone out there. A couple of other freshmen last year that uh, added into the mix were Haley Schultz and Maddie Gillette. Uh, what have you seen those two do? Haley's been working really hard this season and even over the summer she would snap me all the time just trying to put in work, fielding and also hitting. And Maddie Gillette, her swing's gotten extremely better considering last year uh, she's worked on her hands, on the defense and on offense. I gotta tell you something and it makes me feel a little old. Uh, the phrase, she snapped me, 
uh, instead of text. Or in my case, you know, you reach out to somebody on AOL Instant Messenger. Uh, that was a thing back in the day. Uh, just, I, I just want you to know, that one caught me off guard, that snap uh, is a verb. So good job, Leah. Very good job. Um, obviously, good bit of returning talent among the veterans. Uh, what about the newcomers? What sticks out to you about the freshmen who come in uh, and what they can hopefully add to your infield? Uh, a lot of the freshmen on the infield have a lot of speed and get great hands. And that's a good thing about having it, like playing in the middle infield and even on the corners, is they have the speed and the hands to work. And they also have the hard work and they can hit very well. Hopefully, your season gets underway on February 5th uh, when you travel to the Ch Charger Chill Out. Given the uncertainties of everything uh, in 2020 and 2021, what does this team have to do to be fully prepared to pivot on a dime at mo moment's notice? And you might be doing something different uh, to start your season here in two weeks. We just got to just be ready and just have the mindset that we're going to play. Just always have the mindset we're going to play. Never be negative about the situation. If we don't play, don't be negative about it. All right, Leah, thanks for the time. Good luck this year. Thank you. That's Karsten and shortstop, Leah Salm. That's Lacey Rhinus barging in. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagles Sports Network. <laughs>